Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Tony 2.0 and welcome to my playthrough of Shadows of Mordor. Guys, I took about eh, like an hour out of my time to go through and play a little bit of this game just to get used to it because I hate going into games and not knowing what the fuck I'm doing at all. And uh, I'm happy that I did because the first about half hour was just me getting my ass kicked. And so what I did is I went ahead and I'm going to start my save over and we're going to play through this game to the best of our ability. I was only about 5% in so not missing too much. Uh, I just really wanted to learn the combat system. I know it's a, basically a button masher, but still, it's better to know a little bit than to not know anything. Uh, I am incredibly, incredibly impressed with this game. It looks amazing. The gameplay is absolutely fantastic. The, the visuals are, are great. They're, they're fun. It's just... It's a really fun game, and so we are going to just jump right into this. Uh, play the little bit of the You'll tutorial. To if you want to best your father. For the people Hard that have enough. not played this, it has a lot of feel of the. Perry, son, don't forget to block. It has a you lot of feel of like uh, Assassin's alert, Creed and stuff like that. Enemy so will not always it's be as he appears. you know, <clears throat> it's a little button mashy at times. I think the story's pretty cool. Easy, I really enjoyed the Lord Easy, of the Rings yeah. lore and stuff like that. So getting into uh, play a game like this that is actually yeah. decent All in that realm God. is pretty cool. We're just gonna st we're gonna skip most of this stuff just so you guys know. My blade shall rest in your throat. Dear Hyle, remember your training! Just gonna go save our son here. Kill that motherfucker. Oh, I haven't learned that ability yet. For some reason, the music is completely gone. All the sound effects, not working right now. Father, they charge faster than I can strike! Stand fast, dear Hyle! Show me your metal! Oh, my son came and robbed it from me. Hearing this game without any other sound effects is pretty fucking weird, I'm not gonna lie. I could probably do just, Snatched him right just execute these dudes, but whatever. Their deaths are far from Swift, father. Remember, son, lunge deep and cut deeper. Get the little execute game on. See, like little things like that, dude, just make this game <sighs> pretty fun. Well, the sound effects are back, so that's good. The far worse. There's too many. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Keep her safe. I'll be right behind you. Go. For, for people that haven't played this, we are about to get to the point in the story that kind of dictates really what is going on in this story. Basically, you're following the path of this fallen ranger uh, who is trying to avenge the Wrong death of his death. wife and son. You are paired together with this mystic, this shadow. Uh, the Shadow Ranger, and you're paired in death, and you travel through the land of Mordor, slaughtering Uryx, killing their commanders, and working your way up the ranks till finally, uh, uh, I haven't played to the end of it, but obviously you're, you're working towards stopping Sauron. Oh, let's go, let's go get our chick, what's up? On winds and waters may you cross. See mountains white and blue, but on your road, let's not. This is a little creepy because <laughs> you, that's the action that you use to uh, this is to, to basically Where sneak up it? and slaughter people I still later have a few in the game. Friends left in Gondor. I am playing this game with a controller, uh, trusty little Xbox 360 yes, controller. These and games seem to work a little bit better for that. Stubborn. I tried I using the mouse and keyboard me. initially; it just didn't work yeah, out so well. When we had the chance. All right, let's do Don't a little. Move. I'll clear a path. Clear a little. Outnumbered. Stealth is my only Free advantage. When I was playing initially, I 
I really did forget all about the stealth aspect of this and was just going kind of full bore into the game trying to hack and slash my way through it. It's much easier if you take out because the patrols kind of, they respawn, you're continually fighting things in the areas that you've just cleared, uh, and so learning the stealth role is pretty important. Oh, I got club. I got club like a baby seal. You guys can't see it on your screen, but I have been using the Steam FPS gauge. With my new card, this game, this is all on Ultra. I uh, do have the GTX 970 pumping out a steady 60 to 70 frames a second. It uh, makes this playing experience so buttery smooth. It's so fun, and you guys will see, even when there's a ton of things going on on the screen, this card is keeping up with everything. It's uh, it's great. It's fantastic. What we're going to end up doing here is probably skipping this little scene, but he does kill his son and his wife. Ooh, just straight up. Straight up bad. We're going to go ahead and skip this, get right on into the game, start playing. I'm going to try to keep these episodes to about 15, 15-20 uh, minutes apiece, see how long it takes me to get through this thing. My goal for YouTube for this year is to complete more games, play more games that I have purchased because I have so many on my Steam library and I just haven't played through them. I picked up this uh, this game during picked up this game during the Steam sale, and so I really want to uh, to beat it. Unlock new missions, collectible locations, use your map, B to exit. There's a little bit in this game, obviously. Like I said, it is. Um, it is pretty, pretty much just hack and slash. What you are, what you're trying to do here, we missed one of you at not free the slaves, day. complete the missions, unlock the map, bitch. things like that, and then, uh, and then go ahead and along the way, you want to uh, obviously rank your skills up. Thank you, auto aim. Oh, missed that one. Good thing in this game is if you can keep your combos up, you can uh, do more damage. I have, you know, as you get going, you, you build up skills, things that help you kill things faster and a little more easy. But the combos in this game are pretty slick. The moving, the, the actions, everything like that is just pretty fantastic. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, bro? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Go, 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 go back to me. Let's drain this motherfucker. I bet I'm gonna have to hold right bump, right bumper. Do not See, this stuff is pretty what legit. Do you know of the black? I love the graphics in this game. It's absolutely fantastic. Is a fiend. Might have thin air. What more? A slave I had. Swears he fought him. I sold That book and mind melt. For a cake of grog. To give the slaver. Give. So we're gonna go ahead and learn some intel here. Gimu the Slaver. This is how you unlock your travel through the through Mordor. That is where we have to go. Yeah, we gotta kill that dude. If one can trust him, walk. Trust has nothing to do with it. His thoughts cannot lie. Yeah, his thoughts can't lie. When we interrogate, we win, son. So when I initially started playing this, there was definitely some uh, nice, nice cinematic views. Definitely underestimated the amount of uh, usage that you can get out of your your mini map, knowing where to go, things like that, and so 
Uh, now I should be able to, to traverse my way a little bit easier. Nothing makes sense. Nothing has changed. Oh, we should go this and get that nearby. At the, future the, the Den or whatever the hell it's called. Darkness. These are little marks that help you unlock uh, the key to some, some later things that I'm just not going <laughs> to... They allow you to uh, unlock some things a little further on in the in the game. So a lot of little things like that. Uh, uh, trinkets and, and uh, His artifacts, things like that. Answers. I don't like the sound of that! No! <laughs> to complete this game... Uh, like I said, to, to make your way easier through this, um, stealthing and killing things uh, with one hit is definitely easier than than trying to continually attack everyone. Just because this does take some time. Yeah, what are you going to do, bitch? Oh, about to flip over. Oh, get wrecked. Once I, um... Looks like I get a few ability powers, this game gets quite a bit easier to, to do. Uh, pretty much finishing your combo on the guys, though, is a good way to um, get pretty quick kills. Being able to, uh, you know, once you're fighting the stronger, bigger guys, too, you get a crit strike ability that makes that do pretty easy. During this first mission, uh, I actually failed it. Uh, the first time I played, so I'm going to see if I can avoid, <laughs> avoid doing that again. The movement long. system the is pretty sweet, and, and, and you can... Uh, I missed that. I missed that assassination. Oh, I got hit. Not this time, bitch. Finish our combo. Hope we'll be able to kill that guy. Like I said, it's it's man, it's pretty button mashy, but the combat is fun enough where that's not really a big problem. Once you get into like a huge group of them, it's pretty fun. Get gets pretty interesting. I said I should definitely be stealthing more um, than I probably will here in the beginning. I do just want to. Uh, so now, they're gonna have to work twice as hard. Where is that? Three times the punishment. Oh, that's just a, that's just a flower. So right here, basically what you do is come up and activate your missions. The slaver, um, says rescue the captive, find a way through, so... Whoop. So then we cut to these scenes and it does give you an ability where you can mark out your targets, which is pretty good. Oh damn, you got fucked up, son. Well, this doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. That's cold-blooded. Why use your human sight to track the Uruk? I see more than any mortal. So this is where we get to, uh... We get nothing but a lot of noise from the boss. Slay the orc captain. Cut off the head of the snake. And the body, and the body with her. Archers. I must take out the eyes of the camp. So really the best way to, to play this is to, uh... The more you sneak around, the better off you are, particularly when you're going into the boss uh, missions. You are able to move pretty quickly, which is nice. But uh, there's points in this game where if you don't... If you don't do this enough... If you don't... Don't sneak around enough, you're gonna piss everybody off. They'll find you and then you're in trouble. Pick that one up. See, this is the point where you kind of want to be a little more 
a little more stealthy. Um, but it's nice if you can catch these guys uh, out and just kind of clear out some of these with your you can see the boss is a little bit of a ways away from us, so we're going to try to sneak our way over there right now. I'm going to pick that up. Going to get some early damage on him just by sneaking in. Now, with every boss, it does do this little cutscene. The game's a little bit slow because of this. It's one of my complaints. Uh, so far, just the little bit that I have played is that the game runs a little bit slow just because of like all the cutscenes and um, you know the combat system being a little a little hacky slashy is. Uh... Oh, I thought I was gonna hit that dude. Also, like, the dudes can fucking run away from you, they're rather annoying. Well, get off me. I will probably end up dying a few times, and I'll show you kind of, kind of some of the other cool shit. There we go. Camera moves pretty well throughout the battle. Sometimes in games like this, that can be a problem. It doesn't seem to be so bad here. There is a. There we go. There is an archer shooting at us too, so we need to go kill this dude. We'll cut this guy free. Hey, where are you going, buddy? And he's dead. So we went ahead and freed all these guys. We're going to come back over here and pick up our little relic. <laughs> Dead captains, they drop runes, which you can equip. Uh, you can slot runes into your weapons. Select your weapons with the right left trigger. So this is Fell Voice. Recover all focus and all health for killing a captain or a war chief. That's a pretty good one to have. That's an an epic one so uh, this 60 point see like I don't know what these are we're gonna we're gonna just hold off on this I think they were sending again we're gonna throw that one on there just because we have it we might as well no runes for that. We do have some upgrades here, so we'll go from here. Um, yeah, we're going to pick up this Execute because it's very strong mid-fight. allows you to get some kills off earlier than you may be able to, particularly against some of the stronger mobs. Who the fuck is you? So you didn't die ten years ago. I take it you did not come here to arrest me for treason, Captain. You and I are all that remains of that garrison, Hugo. Then why did you come here? Looking for a slave that fought the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> more like ran away from him. You know this man. Of course. You're staring at him. Where are the servants of the motherfucker? Do you even know? Perhaps this is no time to keep secrets. I have been stuck here for weeks. Steady. Come to the outcast camp. We shall ask my scouts. I'll be there. All right. So now we get to go to the outcast camp. This part of the game here is where I. Oh, that motherfucker got him. This part of the game here is where I. Uh... You started to have a little bit of trouble. I did die, like I said, to the first captain and ended up coming back and finishing that because you have to do it to advance the story, but um, now it looks like we're going to end up having a couple quests here that we can go. Mission complete. We did pick up 600 XP and another ability point, which is pretty nice. Um, guys, this is going to do it for the first part of Shadows of Mordor. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I've been enjoying playing this. Um... Yeah, so we're going to cut it off right here. We'll come back 
and uh, pick it up for part two. Thanks, guys.